हेलो एंड वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स आई डॉक्टर आदिल पटेल वेलकम्स यू फॉर द डिस्कशन ऑफ द टॉपिक ड्रग मेटाबॉलिज्म नाउ लेट अस सी व्हाट इज ड्रग मेटाबॉलिज्म सो दिस इज अ प्रोसेस और द कन्वर्जन फ्रॉम वन केमिकल फॉर्म टू अ सब्सटेंस टू अनदर दैट मींस इट इज अ सिंपल और a complex chemical reaction in which one type of chemical is converted into another type of chemical with different set of physical chemical properties the term metabolism is commonly used probably because the products of drug transformation are called metabolites so the drug which is metabolized is called metabolites the metabolism is an essential pharmacokinetic process which renders lipid soluble and non polar compounds to water soluble and polar compounds so that they are excreted by various processes so basically it is a process of converting lipid soluble non polar chemical compound to polar water soluble chemical compounds inside the body now this is because only water soluble substances undergo excretion whereas lipid soluble substances are passively reabsorbed from renal or extra renal excretory sites into the body or into the blood by virtue of their lipophilicity so the excretory system and organs of human body only understands the language of water soluble substances so for the ease of excretion it is necessary that we should convert or the body should convert lipophilic compounds into hydrophilic or water soluble substances what is bio transformation so it is a specific term used for chemical transformation of xenobiotics in the body or in living organism now what is xenobiotics so anything which is foreign considered as a xenobiotics for the human body or the living organism so mostly drugs are entering from outside into the body so the body will consider it as a foreign material and it can be classified as xenobiotics <coughs> now the series of enzyme catalyzed processes that alter the physical chemical properties of foreign chemical that is drug or xenobiotics from those that favor absorption across biological membranes lipophilicity to those favoring elimination in urine or bile predominantly the hydrophilic property now what are the prominent sites of drug metabolism or which organs are involved in the process of drug metabolism so the major site of drug metabolism is the liver the microsomal enzyme system of hepatocytes are responsible for the drug metabolism in liver the secondary organs of bio transformation includes kidney lungs testes and skin in kidney it is mainly the proximal tubule in lungs it is type 2 cells in testes it is sertoli cells and in skin it is mainly the epithelial cells now what kind of factors are affecting drug metabolism so species differences or you can say the racial differences and the specific examples of drug metabolism 
affected by the species differences include phenylbutazone, procaine and barbiturates. The second factor is genetic differences. So the variation exists in various species of animals and various races of human beings and that also affects the drug metabolism. The third factor is the age of animal. So people in fetus, aged person and the newborn. So these are various categories in which the various types of drug metabolism has been observed. The gender, so the under the influence of sex hormones, the drug metabolism is affected. The next factor is nutrition. So the starvation and malnutrition type of situation is also affecting the drug metabolism. And the last factor is the pathological condition. So if the liver or kidney is affected by some disease or some kind of dysfunction, then it will be reflected in the process of drug metabolism. Now let us try to understand types of biotransformation. So biotransformation is divided into two different types. Phase 1 reaction that is non-synthetic phase and the phase 2 reaction which is the synthetic phase. Now let us see what happens in phase 1 reaction which is also known as the non-synthetic phase. So in this particular phase 1 reaction a change in drug molecule takes place generally results in the introduction of a functional group into molecules or the exposure of new functional groups to molecule. So basically insertion of new functional group takes place in phase 1 biotransformation reaction. Now in phase 1 reaction small polar functional groups like OH, NH2, SH, CWH etc are either added or unmasked if already present on the lipid soluble drug so that the resulting products may undergo phase 2 reaction. So whatever chemical reaction takes place in phase 1 reaction and whatever functional groups are inserted into drug molecule will prepare them for the biotransformation by the phase 2 reaction. If you see the examples of various phase 1 reaction, so these are oxidation, reduction, hydrolysis and cyclization. Now let us try to understand what is phase 2 reaction which is also known as the synthetic phase. So it is the last step in detoxification reaction and almost always results in loss of biological activity of a compound. So after the phase 1 reaction it may be possible that the drug is having its original biological activity or the pharmacological activity because the reactions are small and it is non-synthetic reaction. But in case of phase 2 reaction due to the major structural changes in the drug compounds chemical structure the biological activity or the pharmacological activities are completely vanished. Now the phase 2 biotransformation reaction involves conjugation of functional groups of molecules with hydrophilic endogenous substrates and this is called the formation of conjugates. Now the formation of conjugates is formed with an endogenous substances such as carbohydrates, 
and amino acids so carbohydrates and amino acids are playing very important role in phase 2 biotransformation and specifically in conjugation reaction now this conjugation of carbohydrate and amino acid with drugs or its metabolites formed in a phase 1 reaction so drug undergoes phase 1 biotransformation it produces metabolites metabolites then undergoes phase 2 biotransformation and these metabolites are converted into drug conjugates with the help of endogenous substances like carbohydrates and amino acids now these products called conjugates are water soluble metabolites which are readily excreted from the body what are the examples of phase 2 reactions so glucuronide conjugation acetylation methylation sulfate conjugation so these are some prominent phase 2 reaction takes place inside the body now let us discuss inhibition of drug metabolism so in what circumstances the drug metabolism is inhibited inside the body so one drug can inhibit the metabolism of another drug increases in circulating levels of slowly metabolized drug prolongation or potentiation of its effect so sometimes it has been observed that when two or more drugs are administered simultaneously drugs are inhibiting the metabolism of other drugs and because of that there is a sudden spike in plasma concentration and because of that the higher pharmacological activities are expected if you see examples of some drugs experiencing this kind of inhibition of metabolism includes valporate ketoconazole cimetidine ciprofloxacin and erythromycin then let us try to understand what is microsomal enzyme induction so drugs insecticides carcinogens will induce the synthesis of microsomal enzyme proteins accelerated metabolism and reduced pharmacological responses are observed in case of microsomal enzyme induction specific examples of drugs experiencing this type of microsomal enzyme induction are chrysofulvin phenytoin primidone rifampicin carbamazepine and phenobarbitone what is first pass metabolism so first pass metabolism is also known as the pre systemic metabolism or first pass effect metabolism of a drug during its passage from the site of absorption into the systemic circulation due to the first pass metabolism the bioavailability of drug decreases and this in turn decreases the therapeutic response so that was all about the drug metabolism the biotransformation factors affecting drug metabolism and the related topics like microsomal induction please go through this video and let me know if you have any query or question thank you very much for watching this video have a good day and stay safe